بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبینا الكریم وعلی آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد One of the most precious and beautiful actions that a slave can do and is easy for us all to do. It just requires that we make minimal effort, but it requires effort. And that is dhikr Allah Azza wa Jal. Using our time to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And dhikr can help us to stay away from the sins because the more that you have the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on your tongue and in your heart the less time just physical time you have for doing acts of disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the more dhikr that you make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the more remembrance and, and reciting and pra praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on your tongue then the more that is as that it, it is working upon your heart to change your heart to move away from the sin and the ma'asi and the dhanub. And that dhikr can help soften the heart. And the heart can become the heart that is out of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like a rock that has no life. It is like a dead rock. And if you pour water upon it, the water just splashes. And that that is how hard it becomes with sin and the filth. That pollutes the heart. And may Allah protect us from that. Ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al-kareem, Innama yu'minu biayatina al-ladheena idha dhukira biha khurru sujjadan wa sabbihu bihamdi rabbihim wa hum la yastakbirun. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, في كتابه الكريم in Surah Sajda قال Only those who believe in our ayat our proofs, our evidences our verses, our lessons our signs, our revelation who when they are reminded of them fall down prostrate and glorify the praises of their Lord and they are not proud because when you hear the praises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you hear the Qur'an, it should have an effect upon the heart. It should help move the heart to obedience to Allah and want you to move away from disobedience to Allah. And that is the opposite of being proud and, and obstinate and having a stagnant heart. But in fact, the one who remembers Allah much and is in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hears the signs and has a soft heart, then they'll be moved to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and glorify the praises of their Lord as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Jumu'ah, Ya ayyu al-ladheena amanu idha nudiya lis-salati min yawm al-jumu'ati fas'au ila dhikri Allah wa dhuru al-bay'a. ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, O you who believe, when the call is proclaimed for the Salat on the day of Jumu'ah, come to the remembrance of Allah and leave off business. That is better for you if you did but know. Letting us know that going to acts of obedience like Jumu'ah, like the Salat, is a part of dhikr Allah Azza wa Jal because that is exactly what happens in the Jumu'ah the Imam or the Khatib is calling you and exhorting you and preaching you with beautiful preaching to remember Allah to fear Allah wa taqullah haqqu taqatihi wa la tumutunna illa wa antum muslimun and fear Allah the full reverence and don't die except for in a state of Islam Letting us know the importance of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Sa'id ibn Jubair rahimahullah ta'ala said, Every person who carries out obedience of Allah, then he is the one who remembers Allah. So obedience to Allah is a part of remembrance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our brother Abbas Abu Yahya for his 
uh, translation of those ayat and that athar of the salaf and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with jannah for those wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam